Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you my first Christmas card of the year. Um, I haven't bought many, well I've only bought two new Christmas stamps so far. And one of them being this one, which is Holly Jolly Christmas. And today we're going to be using Santa. And that sentiment, may the magic of Christmas reach you this year. Uh, we're also going to be using the die for the Santa. Well, using it, I've used it already because I've cut it out. On the inside, I'm also going to put some parcels. As you can see the parcels, that and that go on the inside. To make this card, you will need... A cut base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half. A piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. A piece of real red cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths. That's five and five eighths, by the way. Five and five eighths by three and a quarter. And I have got this red checked paper. It's an old paper. I don't know the name of this. Um, oh, I forgot what it's called, but it's a retired paper. But I kept it because this is Christmassy. So that's what I'm using. Use any red paper you want if you want to make this card. You'll also need three ovals. This is the largest plain oval. This is the largest scalloped oval. And this one is the second largest plain oval. And they'll be just piled up like that. Something like that. I've also used the uh, banner out of the number dies to put across the bottom. And I've also got a wooden, let me put that on some white so you can read it. And it says believe. There is actually a stamp in here. With the word believe but I found these in Brenda's stuff my friend Brenda and I thought I'd use it I never used them last year so I'll use it this year and that will stick on there like that so to get started we need some scrap white for to stamp Santa now let's glue all this down first. So, we'll glue our check paper down. And I'll glue that onto this white piece, leaving a border both sides hopefully even. That's fine. And then we'll glue this onto this red, real red, hopefully even. And then we'll glue this. onto the card base. And then we'll glue these ovals together.
and they need to go on dimensionals. it on there like that but first before we do the put that down we need to do the father christmas so i will need that stamp on and i need to do one of them so i didn't bring any scrap over with me so i'll just use this will you go on there yeah My Versafine Black Onyx ink, I will ink up Santa and stamp him down. to one side and clean them off and my cloth's a little bit too wet even puddles in the grooves. And that's all right. It's clean. Right, with this one, I've got the parcels here. I'm going to put a parcel there and a parcel right next to it. And then with the sentiment, may the magic of Christmas reach you this year. I'm going to pop that in the middle and just pray it straight. Yeah. That's our stamping done. Put that to one side. We don't need that yet. But first of all, we're going to colour in Santa. Now I've got all these colours with me. And we'll start off colouring Santa. Right, I've got light basic black. And we're going to colour it in his boots. As I've already coloured him and cut him out, I won't be cutting this one out. Don't worry, it won't go to waste because I'll use it in another card. I don't know what card like because what can you do with this Santa? After I got it, I realised, hmm, not a lot we can do with that Santa. I would think of some that. Right, that's the black done. Right, I've got some daffodil dark. Ooh. And just to cover his buckle. Make it look like it's got a gold buckle. Right, um, the sack is light soft suede. Just 
try and stay in the lines. Got the shakes. Well, today's date is September the 24th. And it's been a while since I actually made a video of a card. The last video I made was the wedding album. <coughs> no. This one is crumb cake. Light. And I've done that wrong. No, I haven't. Crumb cake light. And we're using crumb cake dark. I never got out for the teddy bear. I've got real red and we're just going to do the candy cane and one of the boxes and I shall do this box red missing out the ribbon I'm going to do this ribbon red. And we'll also do Santa's clothes red. Not doing no fancy shading or anything like that with this. As I haven't bought lots of stamp sets. There's not many I like in that the new Stampin' Up Christmas catalogue. I will be using some retired stamp sets and some of my own this Christmas. I'm off to a craft fair in October so we never know what I might find there. Great and craft. No, I don't want a red. Um, I want pink. I'm going to give him rosy cheeks and his lips. Uh, right, this is pretty peacock light. And this is for the boxes here. And for this bow. Right, as the Santa done, what you do is um, cut them out. 
but I don't like eyes shut. I don't know why they always bring them out shut, but I'm opening them. Come on, pen work. There we have your eyes open. So that's that done. And then you just cut them out and you'll end up with Santa. I did the boxes a different way. Never mind. So there's our Santa. All cut out. Looking good. The presents will do the same as what we did on the outside. So one green and one red with opposite ribbons. All right again. And fill in the gaps. Just looking then to see if you can see what I'm doing. But you can. Well, I think that's it all done. Get rid of them and let's finish off sticking this car together and put this inside. I'm waiting on some new glue bottles because the lid on that one is broken and it keeps drying up. So I've ordered some more, but smaller ones with the fine tip on it. Now I am just going to glue, not the outsides because it doesn't all fit on there. And I'm just going to glue him down like that. and then take the backings off. And glue this. Right there. So it's a, about an inch from the top. I've glued that. Now this, I have found actually, ah, oh, I know what I want to do. One of the ends I took off an exclamation mark because so I didn't want it on and it left it white. So it's not white anymore. Just 
strip some glue on that. And stick that on there like that. Now did I stick that flat? I did. And then this will get stuck. Hopefully straight. Along the bottom. And there we have it. One cartoonish like Christmas card with an inside decorated. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.